Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce what's banana vaccine. First, this is my table of contents, including introduction, how does it work, the advantages and disadvantages. At the end, I'll make the connection with what we had learned during class time. Introduction. For my research project, I choose the topic banana vaccine. I was attracted by the words banana because I never thought vaccine can be injected into fruits. Before I do my research, my knowledge towards banana vaccine is that the benefits this invention bring to human is injecting vaccine into bananas can reduce the risk of infection happen. Because most common method to inject vaccine is using needle, and the possibilities of infection is much lower using banana vaccine. And the disease you will get when you are infected is called blood-borne disease. How do people make banana vaccine? First, the desired gene, cholera DNA, spliced and combined with the benign E. coli DNA. Then insert it into an E. coli cell. The cell replicate, create millions of copies of the DNA. Then the DNA spliced again. This time, it combined with Agrobacterium DNA and get into the Agrobacterium cell, which can easily infect the banana and other plants. After Agrobacterium infect the banana. The modified DNA is introduced into the banana zygote and cause the banana zygote to create bacterial protein. Afterwards, the banana zygote, which contain modified DNA, will divide into many daughter cells, which inherit the modified DNA. The cell grow into a complete banana. When we eat the banana, the bacterial Protein is introduced to our body, and it will start to make antibodies. Meanwhile, our body will memorize the antibodies. So the process looks like this: first, cholera DNA spliced and combined with E. coli DNA. Then, the modified DNA gets into the E. coli cell, and the cell helps it to replicate. Create bunch of copies, and then the modified DNA spliced again, combined with the Agrobacterium DNA, and then the new modified DNA gets into the Agrobacterium cell. After the Agrobacterium cell, which bring the modified DNA, infect the banana zygote. The banana zygote grow into a complete banana and become banana vaccine. Why do people want to make banana vaccine? The banana vaccine have bring lots of advantages towards our society. First, using banana vaccine can save more money. This has a connection with the tools that we need whenever the hospital is using needle for injection. During the injection process, the hospital needs to prepare refrigerator and needle. Using banana vaccine also can reduce the risk of getting blood-borne disease. Maybe all of us are asking why using banana, not other fruits. Bananas are the most popular fruit in the world. It can survive in tropical and subtropical climate. Lots of countries grow bananas. Also, bananas contains lots of essential minerals and vitamins. According to this graph, it shows us the reason why our society should accept banana vaccine. In total, 60% of the American refuse to take the vaccine, and half of the people who refuse to be vaccinated are people who are afraid of needle. So, 30% in total population of American. Do not want to take the vaccine just because it's using needle to inject into our body. So imagine, we were using banana vaccine to replace the original method. What will happen? 
it will encourage almost 30% of the total population to get vaccinated. Cholera disease is still a problem in Haiti just three or four years ago. This disease caused 8,178 deaths in one and a half year. So using banana vaccine can save more lives. On the other hand, banana vaccine also bring up some disadvantages. The amount of vaccine is hard for scientists to evaluate. So during the experiment, they may waste a lot of bananas and cost a lot of money. Also, it is possible for viruses and bacteria transform into a more dangerous stage because of genetic modification. This will make the disease become harder for the doctors to control. The biggest problem is the producers need to get provision from the countries which has abundant resource of banana. So if the countries do not give permission, then we cannot make banana vaccine. So at the end is making a connection with what we had learned during class time. Banana vaccine and gene cloning both stick the desired traits with another DNA, which can help the desired traits to survive. During the splicing process, cholera DNA combine with E. coli DNA and get into the E. coli cell to replicate. On the other hand, gene cloning take the desired gene combined with the ampicillin resistant so the desired gene will not be killed by the antibiotics. But the purpose of these two processes is different. At the end of the production of banana vaccine, agrobacterium bring the desired gene into the banana. And gene cloning is to make copies of the desired traits. Yay! The video is over! If you think I have done a great job, please give me a big hand and press like. Also, you can make some comments below.